be capable of good listening. Share with one another good fortune and misfortune alike. Be compassionate and express your love for one another constantly. Know your limitations and be honest with yourself as you are with one another. Fuse yourselves into one and be happy for the love that you've been fortunate to find in one another. I realised how fortunate I had been to meet such an incredibly smart, thoughtful, loving, caring, considerate, unselfish, lads I could go on but I have to go to here, person as Eimear is. Eimear and I are now truly best friends. I have no doubt that these traits and characteristics played a part in Eimear being appointed a senior OT a number of years ago at such a young age and more recently being promoted again from this. I'm hugely proud of you, Eimear. When I looked at you today at the top of the aisle, my heart skipped a beat. I said, how lucky am I? I love you more than words can say, and I'm so excited for the future ahead. Dear children of God, you've come to this church so that the Lord may seal your love in the presence of the priests, your families and friends. Christ blesses this, his, this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism. Now by a special sacrament, he strengthens you to fulfill the duties of your married life. God knows all the secrets of our hearts, therefore, if either of you know any reason why you may not lawfully, lawfully marry, you must declare it now. You're about to celebrate the sacrament of marriage. You have come here today of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other. We have. We have. Will you love and honour each other in marriage all the days of your life? We will. We will. I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. I, Ross, take you, Emer. I, Ross, take you, Emer. As my wife. As my wife. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Emer. I, Emer. Take you, Ross. Take you, Ross. As my husband. As my husband. <laughs> Reality's kicking in. 
I don't know. I've never had that before. <laughs> and there's more. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. What God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Emer and Ross have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by giving and receiving of a ring. Therefore, in the name of God, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. Amen. <laughs> welcome you all here today and hope you have a wonderful time. To celebrate this big day in Eimear and Ross's life, on behalf of myself, Elva, Kiva and Lee, I'd like to welcome Eimear into the Darcy family. <clears throat> it has also been lovely getting to know you, Kate and Noel, two very, very nice people. Eimear is a very bubbly, kind, caring girl. She's also very career driven. And Ross has made a very good choice in finding himself a wife. I will end now wishing Ross and Emer good health and happiness and everything they wish for themselves in their future.
Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating?